Hi, welcome to a new video. Um, I want to talk about why I chose and why someone would choose a little micro camper like this. I mean, if you're new to the channel, first of all, I converted this little Peugeot partner into a micro camper about two years ago. It's small, but it's worth it. And that's what I want to talk about in this. Why go for something small instead of like your, your big camper vans and everything else? So I hope you stay with me for this little video. The first thing is it's inconspicuous. I mean, no one would know that you're actually stopping in this. I mean, like I say, this is a Peugeot partner. So it's normally a five door car. Um, and like I say, I've blacked out the windows and I've got my work sign like a logo and everything on the back. So as far as anybody would be concerned, if I park this in a street or anything, or even where I am now, a little car park at a nature reserve, you wouldn't even notice that anybody's stopping in it. That's the thing, it's just brilliant for being inconspicuous. Like I say so and just being stealthy that's the one main thing i mean another reason is it is actually a lot cheaper to run now my brother he's got an old tall but you know a big camper van you've got shower in it got a big kitchen you know you can sleep about six or something like that um but he only i mean yes it's an old one but he only gets like 20 odd miles to the gallon out of it whereas with this one i mean this is like i say it's the car I think i get around about anywhere between around about 40 to 45 miles the gallon now you've got to think i built all of this this is wood i've got a diesel heater in here so an extra five liters of fuel you've got all the bedding you've got all the mattresses everything else so you've got a lot of weight in here but it's still got you still get good fuel economy that's what i find anyway i mean another little reason going on being small i mean it is cozy in here when you've got the curtains closed and everything else it is it feels cozy even though it is a small space and you have to be unusual with the way you deal with that space so with storage and everything else and things like that. I went for a small camper and why I decided to go for a small camper is basically, unfortunately, I have a spinal problem, which does mean I can't get around as much. And I like being out in nature. I like this, like, you know, my photography and everything else. Having something just to get you wherever you need so like i can be on the doorstep of a, a nice hill with the nice rocks and everything have a look at the other videos there's some some good stuff in that but yeah so it, it means that it, it's a lot easier for me now it does sleep too i designed it to actually have the missus you know come along sometimes so this stands out um, i'll put a link up here somewhere to the actual build and you know the full walkthrough you know save me going through it here this is between a um, single and a double bed it's kind of in between those and i mean for me comfortably myself it is absolutely fine if it is just for one a small little camper is absolutely perfect even if it's for two you know as long as it's for one or two nights you'd be absolutely fine and I mean, for me personally, the reason I actually did this is I'd seen someone else, another photographer that did a, a, a camper van. And I thought, well, I'll have a go. And I wanted to do this as cheap as possible because basically I'm a cheapskate. So, yeah, I mean, I wanted to see if I could actually do this, first of all. And, you know, doing a bigger camper van for me, taking like a transit size or anything else, there was a, there was a hell of a lot of work doing this. So God knows how much it would have been, you know, to do that. And with all my problems, I can only do an hour at a time and bits and pieces but yeah that that's a, that's another thing even having a small camper you don't have to sacrifice on the creature comforts like i say i've got a little diesel heater here i've got a toilet one of the ones with the tray thing at the bottom flush and all that kind of stuff you've got all of that and i've got to stop saying you now um but i have like I have my tablet to watch TV or games console so when it's raining or anything like that I can be in here and again you know I've got all cooking facilities yes I've only got a single hop but I've actually got a double one to actually fit at some point and like I say I've got uh, food in here and everything else so like I say it, it is perfect you know just to just even get away even on a day out like i say i've just come to a local nature reserve just for the day well just for a quick walk to be honest and it's even brilliant to have just even your daily driver car i mean at the moment my work car because i clean out fish pools for a living well that's a summer job so it's not now and my car broke down about a month ago it was a tatty old car don't care about it, its work I've put so much rubbish in it but 
This I've been using because there's only me and the missus daughter's left hand. She's got a little uh, lad now. So we, we don't need, I don't need the bigger car, you know, at the moment. So this, for, for two people, like I say, you pull this up in any high street, you could even stop in there. And again, like I say, going back to like the day out or anything else, even like, I like car boots and even just going to a car boot and being able to get back because I can't always drive. And yes, yeah, again, going back to all that, but I can just sit here and have a cup of coffee while I'm waiting for me painkillers to kick in and I mean that's the thing if you just want a camper just for a day out one or two nights now the maximum I've stopped in this is two maybe three nights I think that was mostly by myself I've had the missus for like two nights you know and it, it's still comfortable and it's still workable and um, there are disadvantages you're just not enough headroom but I'll go into those in another video again for this size like i say it is perfect for one or two nights if you're looking for something that's gonna give you a week two weeks in it i mean it is possible in this if there's one if there's two yeah maybe but having a small camper it is more for just you one or two nights which for me is absolutely great i can get up to you know, i'm in the midlands so i can get up to the peak district lake district down south you know within a two hour drive which is the maximum really i can drive a night one place and a night the other night and again like i say there are places I mean, we was on a beach, um, I think it was by Real Prestatin Way, something like that. Um, and you, you could park on the beach, it was a car park, there's a barrier. So there was a big camper van, the transit size, he couldn't get under that, but we could. And that meant we could park on that beach overnight, and we was watching the sunset this way. It's absolutely perfect. So again, this is the thing, you, you're not restricted with, because you've got a large vehicle, you are restricted for barriers. I mean, even there's a car park behind me, just the, the very residential car park that's got a barrier on I mean I can get this under but I wouldn't have been able to get a transit or anything else while working on it so that's one advantage again it's just that you are more stealthy you can just be wherever you want and I mean for anybody that is safe thinking of converting one of these I mean this like I say was an actual car so you did have like the, the three seats in the back you know I mean I have still got the actual seat belts there down there but it's been carpeted over and everything else and I mean that's the one thing it's not classed as a camper van it is still a car it is on the logbook you know it is still I mean for me it's a disabled class because I, 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 I'm disabled so it's a disabled class but that makes no difference it is just classed as a car it is not classed as a, a camper van or anything else and things like that basically all it is is i've removed the back seats which you know you can do in any car and then i've built a framework in the back so if it was like my work vehicle like a work van you could have racking and everything else it's literally the same as that so that's the reason you can get away with just using a car i mean like i say the one thing that i would say is if you are thinking about doing one of these yourself is to actually plan it out you really do need to plan it out I'm I mean, I planned this out with like an L shape that this pulls across, this comes out and everything else. Same kind of design of a lot of people. The only thing is with this vehicle is from front to the end of the back, the front seats, I'm just about six inches too short, seven inches too short to be six foot long. So basically what I have to do in this is actually before you know putting the bed out just pull the actual seats forward you know turn the knob so they're all the what that way up and then i've got a little extra bit that fits in there that then gives me six foot in length and like i say it is comfortable the one thing i wish i would have done is just got some better padded on here you know but again i'll go into the disadvantages on the other video so like i say having a small camper like i say you don't have to sacrifice you can be stealthy you know no one knows you're in here um i mean there was a time that we was parked and the missus was here and uh, we was part was just having a cup of tea it was like a little place like this and there was a woman you know just walking a uh, dog and that and the back windows seemed a bit open so she she come and she just pushed them too thinking someone had left them open and i opened the door and i said it was okay and i'll give her a sh the shock of her life because like she didn't even realize that we was actually in the back one the blacked out windows and that's one thing that i would say is if you're going for a, a, a car to actually do is black out the windows or if you bought a vehicle that has got a conversion in because you can just get the, the pushing ones ready-made ones black out the windows because it gives you a little bit more privacy and I mean on a night I've got curtains that go across the actual front there as well so it gives you privacy and I've got curtains that go up so that that's the thing I wanted one as well with the windows in the back yes not as great for insulation but that's where curtains with insulation come in um, that I could actually see out in the day um, because there's times where I can't actually get out I've 
parked up somewhere and I can't walk. I can't do those things. So it's, it's great just to be, you know, in here and just like watch the world go by in an absolutely lovely place. Because like I say, you can be anywhere you want. So I don't know if I've covered everything, there's probably something else. But again, you know, if you have enjoyed this, I'm doing sharing all different things about this camper and about what how I get on with it, about my travels, the photography, all sorts. You know, so if you do like this, make sure you like the video. And if you want to see more, uh, you know, subscribe because there will be more videos coming up, especially in this kind. But again, like I say, with everything. So again, you know, and it as well, it gives subscribe and liking gives me more incentive to actually do these kind of videos so again thank you for watching and goodbye for now see you next time bye why is it people want to bloody come and do different things I mean as well as so uh, that that yeah. um, I forgot what I was gonna say